ลำดับต่อไปนะครับผมจะเรียนเชิญคีโนสปิเกอร์ท่านถัดไปนะครับผู้ช่วยศาสตราจารย์จุนาดีนะครับท่านเป็นไวซ์แชร์ของ UI Green Matrix นะครับจะมานำเสนอในเรื่องของ Introduction about UI Green Matrix and Network Next I would like to invite Assistant Professor Junadi, Vice Chair of the UI Green Matrix, to deliver the introduction about UI Green Matrix and networking. Professor Junadi, please. Thank you, Professor Kitty Kong, uh, Professor Ban Cheng Mahesai Piria, President of Mahidol University. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to you all. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to present or to inform you a bit about the Green Metric World University Rankings and the network. First, let me uh, inform you about what is the Green Metric. UI Green Metric is a uh, is a world university ranking focusing on green and sustainable campus initiated by uh, University of Indonesia in 2010. As you know, uh, there are many world university rankings in the world as well as organizations that work on uh, sustainability issues. Uh, for instance, you have uh, QS World University Rankings, Time Higher World University Rankings. Uh, as you know, the new one is uh, Time Higher Education World University Ranking Impact. You have uh, other ranking as well. And all these rankings are member of International Ranking Expert Group, um, as well as UI Green Metric. So if you see from the table, uh, there are many world university ranking, uh, you know, focusing on different uh, dimensions of uh, universities, uh, academic performance, uh, multidimensional employability and so on. And as for the world university ranking focuses on environmental, we only have a UI green metric uh world university rankings since 2010 uh focusing on the sustainability issues of the university now there are three major world university rankings as you know that focus on uh the university rankings you have qs time higher as well as University uh, UI Green Metric for uh, Green and Sustainable Ranking. As Professor Banjong have mentioned, so you have three pillars of sustainability. Uh, UI Green Metric um, is focusing on how to assess and measure sustainability performance of universities around the world. Um, so we are using metrics in order uh, to enable universities around the world to uh, assess their performance uh, in the uh, our criteria and indicator. At the moment, we have metrics on environmental issues as you have already uh, participated in, uh, but in the uh, future, near future, we are developing uh, social and economic uh, dimensions of the metric which Professor Gunawan will uh, inform you uh, later in his presentation. So what is the mission of our green metric? Um, uh, basically, we want the university around the world to be sustainability, sustainable universities. How do we do that? First, we can shape global higher education research and teaching and then we create global sustainability leaders as well as partnering on solutions. Unlike other rankings, we have uh, several features. Uh, for instance, to participate, there are no fees. 
uh, from universities. So you can just join us by completing the questionnaire. It's also open for all higher education. So this uh, makes green metric uh, different from other ranking. Uh, so if you only have academy or if you only have uh, higher education institutions, you can join uh, our ranking. And then it's done through online questionnaire. So it is simple. You just go to the website, uh, complete the questionnaire, and do the click, 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 and then uh, you will, uh, we will sub, uh, you will submit the the, the data. Uh, then you will get the university profile of your university, which I'm going to show you later. Um, another uh, important features of our ranking is that we have a dynamic university network. I think it's the only uni world university ranking which has a network. So uh, as you know, uh, the national coordinator of UI Green Metric in Thailand is uh, Mahidol University. So each country has national coordinator where uh, we work together, share and learn best practices. And then well, we focus on university policies, uh, actions for sustainability. So what is the methodology? Uh, as you can see from the presentation, we have six criteria, uh, setting infrastructure, energy and climate change, waste, water, transportation, education, and research. And to a certain extent, uh, it complies with the 17 SDGs. Now, the difference would be uh, our ranking focuses on the university performance or the operations of the university in meeting uh, this uh, uh, criteria on indicator. Now let me continue with the next one. So what you can do with UI Green Metric? So as you can see, uh, you can see here your performance later in your uh, profile if you have joined our uh, ranking. So by using this uh, profile, you can do self-assessment for your university and see where you are in terms of uh, uh, UI Green Metric criteria and indicator. Uh, Professor Gunawan will explain more about this uh, in his uh, presentation. So basically you have setting and infrastructure. So you can see the top uh, score would be 100 there. So you can see where you are in your uh, performance uh, in setting infrastructure or in education or in transportation. Now, uh, as I have mentioned, we are developing uh, the three pillars. So far, we already have the environmental, we are developing the social as well as the economic uh, metric. So this year, uh, we add new information, uh, new questions for you to uh, submit. Uh, however, uh, they are not going to be counted for scoring this year. So for instance, we would like to know uh, your network and partnership. Uh, partnership number 17 in the UN SDGs. And then questions like uh, whether your university open access for the public, uh, what you're doing for community services, as well as uh, whether you are doing green economy or a startup in your campus. So what is the trend? Uh, we are very pleased to learn that when we started in 2010, uh, there are 35 universities, uh, sorry, 95 universities from uh, 35 countries. Now, uh, in 2019, we have 780 universities from 85 countries, and we hope uh, there are there will be more and more universities, particularly in Thailand. We will take benefit of this ranking and our network so that we can uh, enable our universities to be sustainable. 
So here are the statistics. Uh, if you see the dots, uh, uh, the dots uh, represent participating universities, not the COVID-19 casualties. Um, so this is uh, uh, the statistics. So uh, you can imagine uh, we have a very powerful network. Uh, if we work together, we can deal with the issue of sustainability and create uh, future leaders uh, to tackle the sustainability uh, issues. Now, let me continue with the Thai University rank on UI green metric. So as Professor uh, Ban Chong mentions, uh, Mahidol University rank number one, and in the world ranking, Mahidol rank 75. And then you have also excellent universities in Thailand who also uh, participate uh, and they are uh, doing uh, well in, the, in the, the ranking. So this shows that the university in Thailand uh, also increasingly uh, uh, putting um, importance in the issues of sustainability. Now, if you look at the overall score of distributions, and if we say uh, you have uh, gold, uh, silver, and bronze, so the dot represents uh, where the university of the 780 universities. So in the world, there are only 8% of universities, about 64 universities who can be said they are already at this level. Uh, they are doing very well in terms of sustainability. Most are either in the silver and the bronze. And from the data, you have Tula Longkorn, Katsetsat, Maidol University, and together with uh, other uh, universities, 22 universities in Thailand who are in the, the silver. So there are still rooms for improvement uh, to be uh, more sustainable universities. So if you look at the university rankings, uh, we provide information in our website and we uh, rank university by region, uh, by country, uh, by category, by campus setting, as well as the new one by a type of higher education. So you can see your rank uh, by your country or by ranking. One university may be uh, ranked number one in setting and infrastructure in Thailand, and another university may rank number one in energy, energy and climate change, as well as in the, the campus setting. So you see the variety uh, of the ranking. Uh, the purpose is you can benchmark your universities uh, with other universities. So uh, later when you participate, uh, you will get this uh, green metric certificate, a uh, nice certificate uh, to put in your universities. So for instance, uh, Mahidol University ranked 75th world's most sustainable university in 2019. And then you also get uh, this fact file. So this fact file is very useful for your university. Uh, so I take, uh, uh, liberty to present uh, Mahidol University uh, as the example. So you can see there the history and where the performance of Mahidol uh, in terms of uh, each criteria. Now, let me continue with the network. As I have mentioned, uh, the different of University of Indonesia Green Metric with other ranking is that we have a dynamic and very uh, collegial and supportive networks. So the aim is to have sustainable universities and sustainable future with these uh, principles. So uh, we are very open and we involve uh, other universities in the member to participate. We collaborate together. Uh, we compete, but more to the collaboration and then we respect each other. So uh, to implement the operations of the network, uh, we have 35 universities from 
30 countries uh, coordinate by national coordinators of UI Green Metric. So the national coordinators uh, would voluntarily help us to work together, encourage more universities to be more sustainable, uh, learn best practices from one another. So as you can see from the slide, uh, there are 35 universities from 30 countries around the world. So these are the national coordinators. As for Thailand, uh, you can see Professor Kitikon there in the picture. Uh, he is the, he is uh, kindly agreed to be the national coordinator for uh, universities in Thailand. So these uh, professors, uh, are the national coordinators for uh, their own uh, countries. Now, uh, what are we doing as a network? So as you can see here, we have a several agenda around the world. We are now uh, with, on the 17th of July, we do workshop like this in uh, Wahidol University. Uh, there are other uh, workshops that we are going to do until the end of the, uh, the year in different countries. So uh, next, I'd like to invite you all to uh, the international workshop uh, on UI Green Metric World University Ranking hosted by University of Zanzan, Iran. Uh, this year we do it virtually. So we don't need to go to Iran due to the pandemic, uh, but we can join uh, uh, the workshops um, uh, virtually. Uh, and also we can watch the workshop uh, through YouTube. So uh, welcome and please join us uh, to uh, the six international workshop uh, in Iran. Now, uh, how to participate? Uh, so you have heard what is green metric, what we are doing, uh, the benefits for you, and so on. So how to participate? The participation is very easy and simple. You just go to the website uh, and then uh, get the uh, questionnaire and complete the questionnaire. Professor Gunawan will explain how to complete the questionnaire later on. So what to do? Uh, basically, we just log into our website uh, and then the guidelines would be there, the scoring, uh, would be there, uh, everything would be there, the information. And uh, this is the schedule for the submissions. Uh, if, if you are interested, and, we, and also we encourage you to join. Um, we still have time until 31st of October to submit the data. We'll do the validation. Uh, the verification will be done by our reviewers as well as uh, from online information and the data evidence that you have submitted to, to, to us. And then we will announce the result uh, in December, in the first week of uh, December. So these are the useful links for you to learn uh, more about green metrics. You can study about methodology, results and network, what we are doing to uh, convince yourself to join uh, our network as well as our uh, world university rankings. So, and then of course you can ask uh, Professor Kitikon uh, as national coordinator for my meetings and, and so on. And then of course, uh, if you have further questions, uh, you are, uh, we will be delighted to answer any questions uh, by, you know, send us email uh, to our secretariat. Uh, Ms. Sabrina will be there to uh, assist uh, and answer any questions. So thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, if you have questions, uh, um, we can discuss that later. Thank you very much, Madhika. Okay, thank you, uh, Professor Junadi for your valuable talking uh, on the introduction about the UI Green Metric and Network. Professor Junadi, 
คำแนะนำนะครับเกี่ยวกับ UI Green Matrix แล้วก็เครือข่ายของ UI Green Matrix นะครับสำหรับท่านที่รับชมนะครับผ่าน Zoom a อ p พลิเคชันนะครับถ้าท่านมีคำถามนะครับในระหว่างนี้นะครับท่านสามารถพิมพ์คำถามส่งมาทางทีมงานโดยตรงนะครับทีมงานเราจะรวบรวมนะครับแล้วก็ถ้ามีเวลาเหลือนะครับหลังจากโปรเฟสเซอร์กุณาวันทายโยโนนะครับเราก็จะเลือกบางคำถามนะครับมาสอบถามทางสปิเกอร์ที่ยังออนไลน์กันอยู่นะครับส่วนท่านที่รับชมฝ่าน Facebook Live MUS DGS นะครับก็สามารถส่งคำถามฝากไว้ที่เพจ MUS DGS ได้นะครับแล้วก็เดี๋ยวทีมงานก็จะพยายามหาคำตอบไปตอบให้ในภายหลังนะครับ uh, Any audience who have a questions Uh, you can leave your message via Zoom applications, and uh, in the last of the speaker, uh, we will try to ask uh, the questions to our keynote speakers. Uh, for other audience who uh, join from live uh, Facebook Live MUSDGS, you can also leave a message or questions. Uh, we will try to reply you later as soon as possible.